break down what happened today. 100 degrees here in the Triangle. It has been more than two years, more than 800 days since we hit 100. Remember, we didn't do it all this year. We didn't do it all last year. It was July of 2017. And keep in mind, our average high is 77. So we were way above that. Now, there is still the cold front tomorrow. There's no rain with it. But the cold front is not going to make things cold tomorrow. It's only going to start to cool us down. It's still going to be hot tomorrow. It's not going to be this hot, but it's still going to be hot. It's still 98 here in the Triangle, down in Fayetteville, 99 in Rayford. I mean, everyone's in the 90s. The humidity was technically down a little bit today. You probably didn't feel that, but it's still high enough where we have heat index values that are still around 100 degrees. And as Bill said, I mean, you got to kind of pinch yourself. It's October 3rd, or as a few people online were referring to it as July 81st. All right, so as we go into tonight, no rain, very few clouds, 88 still at 8 o'clock, by 10 still in the mid-80s, then we drop down to the 70s overnight. You're out the door Friday morning, 71 degrees. Remember, normal high this time of year is in the 70s, normal overnight low is in the 50s, and we're nowhere near that. So here's the setup for the next two cold fronts coming in the next four days. High pressure, firmly in control today. That's what helped us get so hot. It's keeping us dry. It's keeping our humidity level elevated. But tomorrow, here comes the cold front. Still no rain with it, and it doesn't come through until later in the day. So we're all still going to have plenty of time to get hot, just not as hot as today. So then it goes through. Here comes the cooler air. Here comes high pressure from Canada building down for the weekend, but it's not going to be close enough to clear us out. So we'll have extra clouds this weekend, but most importantly, we'll have cooler temperatures. As that lady at the uh, farmer's market said, it is going to be in the 70s this weekend, back up to around 80 on Sunday. Then on Monday, cold front number two comes. This one does have some rain, not a lot. It's not a drought buster, but we'll take it, and we'll also take the cooler temperatures that will be behind this one. You'll see that on the seven-day forecast. But again, tomorrow, you know, we keep talking about the cold front's coming tomorrow. It is. I just showed you. But it doesn't go to work on us until tomorrow night and Saturday morning. So we still have mid to low 90s for highs tomorrow in the Sand Hills. 89 for a high in Wilson, 94 in Goldsboro. 90s here in the Triangle will go right around 90 with highs in the upper 80s along the Virginia border. So you've been here in cold front all week tomorrow. Don't go outside tomorrow in cold weather gear thinking it's going to be cold. It'll feel a little better by tomorrow night. High school football week seven tomorrow night. Our game of the week is Southwest Edgecombe at Corinth Holders. Again, most games kick off around 7, 7.30. It'll be in the upper 70s, right around 80. And then by the time the games wrap up, around 70 degrees. Here's what I'm looking forward to. Not this morning's temperature, not even tomorrow morning when it's still going to be in the low 70s. Check out by Saturday morning, 57 degrees. That'll feel nice. 60 on Sunday morning won't feel half bad either. So here it all is, packaged up in your seven-day forecast. Again, cold front, hot, just not as hot tomorrow, 90 degrees. 71 on Saturday, but it will come with cloudy skies. We bump back up to 80 on Sunday, 82 on Monday. There's cold front number two, 40% chance of rain. That'll be nice. And then so will temperatures in the 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday.